Welcome to a quick guide on how to get the summoning material for Titan and all his divine intel to have it at max level in Final Fantasy Rebirth. I'm Sif on Yiga and this is only boss fights and let's dive right in. First off you will enter the grasslands area straight after leaving Calm in Chapter 2. Once you have been to the Chocobo farm you will find Chadley. As with the first game Chadley will give you the chance to participate in combat simulations. He will tell you after a quick intro to World Intel that he has a combat in simulation of Titan and if you beat him you will get the material to summon him. Now you can fight him straight away and Titan will be at his strongest and probably make mincemeat of your squad. Plus the material you will get will be his weakest form. You can lower his power and raise the level of his material from finding divine intel in the grasslands area. First do the chocobo mission so you can travel around the grasslands area quickly and find these places easier. The first titan sanctuary will not be marked on the map but start heading to the phenomenal intel marked on the map after Chadley shows you how to activate the first Remna wave tower. This is northeast of the chocobo farm as you get to close, you will see a large glowing rock on the left of the path. Chadley will explain that smashing these leads you to the Titan Sanctuaries. Break this and follow it down a path on the cliffside of the coast. You will find the Titan Sanctuary Alpha, where you have to put in the right inputs at the correct times to get the divine intel. Doing this rewards you the divine intel and completes the first century. The second Titan Sanctuary will appear on your map after activating the third Activation Intel Remna Wave Tower, which is south of the Chocobo Farm and near where you caught your Chocobo. The best place to start for this is where you found the swamp in the main mission and head south. Once you reach the Derelict Bridge, take your Chocobo across the swamp and you'll see one of those glowing rocks. Hit this and it will lead you to a climbing platform up to the top of the bridge. Here head straight forward and you will find Titan Sanctuary Bravo. And after completing the puzzle, you will get the second divine intel. The last Titan Sanctuary will appear on your map after activating the sixth activation intel Remna Wave Tower, which is southwest of Khan. Head south of the Remna Wave Tower and head along the right side of the pipeline and you will find one of the glowing crystals. Hit this and follow it into the gorge where you will find the Titan Sanctuary Gamma. Complete the puzzle and you will get the third and final Divine Intel. Now that we have all the Divine Intel, Head back to Chadley to take on Titan. Titan is a earth summon so his weakness is wind. Exploiting the wind weakness, blocking and evading certain attacks and counter attacking will pressure him. Dodging around his large swinging attacks and keeping out of distance to his stomping attacks are a must. He will also start with lunge attacks which if you have enough distance are easy to avoid. When he does the Earthen Argus move, this will create a barrier, but once destroyed will automatically pressure him. At this point, he will also start to throw boulders at you, so keep an eye out for them. Once you finally stagger him, hit him with everything you got, and he can easily take half his health bar down. I was able to defeat him with one stagger, And this is how you get the Titan summoned. 